Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it's definitely been a while since I've uploaded, but I am back in Massachusetts. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I moved to California for, to um, start my PhD at UCSB. Um, but I decided to come home for the holidays because I hadn't seen my family in almost a year. Um, and a lot of my work I can do remotely. So I'm home for the time being and I've just been working from home and actually have a really good work from home setup here at my parents house so it hasn't been bad. I just thought today would be a good day to kind of do like a work from home with me. Um, I have a few things on my to-do list. It's pretty much a typical day though and I guess I just wanted to show you how I'm productive at my parents house um, and how I can be productive as a PhD student working remotely. So we're kind of in the last week of the quarter, so things are wrapping up a little bit for the holidays. Um, I'm a TA for my PI's course, um, and this is the last week of class. Um, and so I'm just trying to catch up on grading with that. And I have three sections per week that I need to hold, which are more just like office hours for students to come and ask questions. And I'm not really sure what the turnout will be this week because um, there's no homework assignment this week. It's just the final project. Um, and then beyond that, I have, I can show you my calendar. Pretty much all that's on my calendar is this departmental seminar. So I'll go to that. Um, and then I'm trying to schedule a meeting with an undergraduate student who I'm planning to work with um, for the next few months. Um, and then I have my section late at night just because of the time difference. A lot of my meetings are like later in the day. Um, so I like to make my coffee and set up my workspace, which consists of my MacBook plugged into a second monitor and then also my iPad. Um, I have the iPad Air 3 and this is super useful for like reading papers or taking notes. Um, but then I also have a paper planner um, just because I like to write things out by hand and like be able to check it off. And I know you can do that on the iPad, but I don't know. I, I really like having a paper planner. Um, and then beyond that, I have my coffee. Like I said, I always put fresh cold water in my hydro flask every morning. So what's on my to-do list today is to read a paper so that I can discuss it with the undergraduate student later today. Um, I also want to do some reading for the topics that we're covering this week in the class that I TA just so that um, I have a better understanding of it and that I'm prepared if anybody comes to my section and asks questions. Um, it's also just for my own enjoyment. Um, the class I'm TAing, it's like a um, biology modeling course using Python, and I'm learning a lot actually because I attend the lectures. So I'm essentially taking the class, but I'm also TAing. And then I want to meet with my student later. Um, and if I have time, I want to grade another homework assignment. I'm seven, eight, nine, I'm three assignments behind. So I have a good amount of grading to do. Um, but I already graded two assignments earlier this week on Monday and Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Um, so I think I'm like in a pretty good position, but I just want to get the grades out as quick as I can because then, you know, if I made a mistake with the grading or if students have questions, they have time before the quarter ends to ask me. Um, before I eat breakfast or anything, I like to just drink my coffee and get like one of my tasks done. So I think what I'm going to work on right now is doing... Um, some reading for the class at ATA.
Okay, so I've done a bit of reading and note taking on um, these like concepts that we're working on in the class that I'm teaching. I am getting super hungry at this point, so I think I'm gonna go eat breakfast and then come back to work. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you my oatmeal recipe because I think I make it really yummy. Okay, so first thing, so I cook the oats in almond milk and that makes it like a lot more creamy and thick, I guess. And then I put frozen blueberries at the bottom. So when you pour the hot oats over the top, it melts and it cools down your oatmeal. Um, and then some chopped walnuts for a crunch. And then brown sugar, which melts into the oatmeal and it's super yummy. And I think I might try coconut flakes today. But yeah, I'll show you when it's done. And this is like really, really delicious. Look at that. Good. <laughs> okay, so I'm back at my desk and I'm gonna keep doing some work. I think I'm gonna shift gears a little bit and read a paper on my iPad. Um, just because, like, I like to, you know, do an hour of one thing, an hour of another thing. And then, you know, if I'm like in a focused, like, flow state, then I'll just like continue. But otherwise, I like to shift gears because it keeps me more energized, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna read this paper. Um, I'm like really glad I got an iPad because like in, you know, a PhD program, there's a lot of reading and being able to like annotate and have it all in one place is like so useful. Um, I'm gonna take one of my multivitamins. I just got these. They're like the Ritual Essential for Women multivitamin and I've never done one before. Like I've never consistently taken a multivitamin before. But I figured I should start um, and see if, like, this helps with, like, my energy levels and metabolism and stuff like that. And these ones are nice because it comes with, like, a minty tab. So the capsules are, like, very fresh and pleasant to take. Um, but this is what it looks like. It has, like, the Omega whatever omega-3 like fish oil type thing mixed in with all the other supplements so you don't have to take like multiple pills okay so it's been a couple hours um I didn't really feel the need to like show what I was doing because I was just reading and then I went and had lunch I just had my leftover chipotle that I got yesterday and then I made this iced coffee because I know I'm gonna get drowsy and the department seminar is starting in like 15 minutes so I'll probably just put that on soon and just continue reading um until then I also just realized that I can set up my ipad like this like kind of on a low angled like setting with the case so that you can like write easier and not have to like hunch over as much i mean like i knew that the case went like this way which is nice for like watching stuff but i didn't realize you could do it like that yeah cool used to guide behavior and these are like some of the core questions um, that Matt is studying in his lab and uh, um, we performed uh, experiments in which we interleaved those different ratios I showed you within a session so okay it is 3 30 p.m and I'm checking in again I finished reading the paper a little bit ago and now I'm just kind of like thinking um kind of following some like little rabbit holes that i was thinking about while reading the paper um and some like questions that i had that i am now gonna like look up and see if i can figure out but yeah this was a cool paper i was trying to basically read it and think about if i can incorporate any of those ideas into my project but i don't know a whole lot um, about like the foundation of what the paper was talking about um, 
So I'm basically going to look at some, maybe try to find some like review papers and do a little bit more reading. But I'm basically writing all my thoughts down in my like online lab notebook. So I like to use Benchling for my lab notebook. It's just really easy to like organize by day and then you have like each day on the side. Um, and you can do like to-do lists, etc. And then like a lot of times I'll have like images so you can put in like images of your gel or like whatever you might have. I also like to use it as a place to like write down any ideas or like to brainstorm or to like compile links to useful websites, like websites that have useful protocols or um, review papers or anything like that. It's just like cool to have it all like in one in one place. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do that for a little while and then maybe do a yoga workout in like an hour. I just finished my workout and took a shower and I have as you can see it's 5 53 now and so I have a meeting in like less than 10 minutes and then I'll eat dinner and then I just have one more thing on my agenda which is my TA section we'll see if anybody comes even if nobody comes I still have to be like on for that hour just in case um so from 8 to 9 I'll be on this is pretty typical working from home on the east coast when I go to school on the west coast type situation um but I do I like being busy and I like to have a lot of stuff in my schedule so I honestly don't really mind it I just like I'm not a night person so I get really like at this time of the day I get really like tired and like it's harder for me to like think clearly is anybody else like that I'm definitely a lot more of a morning person but yeah, being three hours ahead, none of my meetings are really before noon. Oh. I always feel like I need to like decompress for a few minutes after a Zoom meeting because I get so stressed out. Okay, we're on the home stretch of today. Um, it is a little after eight and I am holding my section and I'm gonna you know, wait for the full hour to see if anybody comes. As of right now, it's just me, but I am monitoring if anybody comes in the waiting room. So that's the update, and it'll probably be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, work from home with me. Oh, someone just came into the waiting room. Okay, so I really have to go. Okay. Okay, so my last Zoom session went um, a lot longer than usual, uh, but now my work day is over, finally at 9.30 p.m. So thanks for watching this video, and hopefully this will motivate all of you who are working from home. Bye!